What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo. And as you all saw in that previous live stream video, I was able to get all the Seven Nice characters. I was able to get all their cards except for Bond's 3PG. However, I do have a ticket for that 3PG, so that's in the bag, my friends. But the first thing I want to touch on is Guild Raid. Uh, Guild Raid has a massive bug in this thing where you're not getting PG worth a damn. And it's really hurting everybody's scores. It's freaking terrible. I was getting lots and lots of comments about it, and I definitely noticed it myself. However, CM Yuri uh, actually addressed this very quickly. And, you know, slow progress during gameplay. We currently are seeing a slowdown in the progress of the game during championships and other content play. Yep. Which caused inconvenience to some con contenders. This issue has been confirmed and further investigation is underway in order to fix the issue immediately. So immediately. So they're already addressing this issue. And then the low PG game, which is, this is massive. You know, when you're losing PG, you're just not able to do your ultimate skills. You're not stalling the timer and you're going to do a lot less damage. So I'm really happy that they're looking into this or addressing it. And you always got to expect there's going to be bugs after an update. That's just the way it is, especially when they're putting in all these events, all these new game modes for the moment. It's going to change things. So I'm glad they're already addressing it, but they need to fix this as fast as possible so people can get those max scores so they can get the max rewards from Guild Raid. On the current update, we have fixed the issue about the wrong power charge amount applied when using certain skills. However, we are aware that several contenders are experiencing inconvenience due to the low power charge amount applied. And we will provide more information after the countermeasures have been discussed. Once again, we apologize. So thank you so much. I mean, I see a lot of dislikes, but the fact is, they are addressing it. They're going to fix it. Mark my words. At least they were on the ball and didn't let it go on and go on and go on without addressing it. So I'm really happy to see that they've done that. But hopefully they can fix that as soon as possible. I haven't played Guild Raid yet, so I don't know if it's fixed or not. So this is the last day for the carnival. So you also want to make sure that you're getting as many of these points as you can. So that way you can at least get these gold hammers. I'd only go to the gold hammers and get those because we do have a rush event that you actually can farm. And you have this here. This is pretty freaking cool. Uh, we love these things. You can actually get these cards that increase attack and defense and HP. They're not the best cards. In all honesty, most players are not going to use these. But for a newer player, maybe they can become useful. You know, they do give you an extra increased attack by 13% when HP is 50% more and defense by 13%. Uh, honestly, I'll probably never use that car set. And then we have the imprint stones that you can actually get. This is pretty much the spitting image of the Seven Nice collab. You got the double attack, 20% increased attack to each stone. And then you got the, if I can get on it, the decreased damage received by whatever percent when the Seven Deadly Sin character fighter is attacked. So it's not after using Awakened Skill. It's actually when they're attacked. So it is a little bit different. And I'm not really sure how high that goes up. Maybe it goes up to 20%. We'll see. And then we have more, you know, another 20% extra increase to attack. And then we have the increased target damage received by 4%. This is going to go up when it goes up to level 10. For four seconds when the seven deadly sins fighter lands an active skill. So no matter what skill you land on a 12 second cooldown, you're going to do a lot more damage, which is actually good. And then the third one here is double attack. And then you have the power gain, gain 1% power every one second for five seconds when using a deadly seven deadly sins character. OP stones, my friends, completely free. All you're going to need is a bunch of AP so you can get through this. And you want to make sure that you're collecting all these dailies, the gold hammers, the Gideon hammers, the attack capsules. Make sure you're collecting those every single day. Really, really cool. Plus, we get the free rubies from it every day also. Then you have the ban event. And in here, you can actually get these hammers and get these tokens. And these tokens are actually really good for crafting more imprint stones, which is awesome. You can actually craft your imprint stones, which is wonderful, right? So you want to make sure you're facing this guy. And you get one you get to do this one time a day it's going to cost you 50 ap and this is a game mode where you're actually going to play with players which is pretty cool very very cool really liking that really loving that then you got this event with king now for king here reward info 
you get some AP, you can get gold hammers, you can get the Gideon hammers, and so on. Unfortunately, there's no rubies in here, but it's fine. And you see the team I used, I just went OP, just used the blue team, and pretty much destroyed them. If y'all would like to see a different team do this, uh, maybe a weaker team, maybe with some of the seven nice characters, or seven deadly sins characters, because they actually do get an increased attack by 100%, and their decreased damage received by 50%, and the boss increased damage received by 100% if bleeding, chilled, starlight, or darkness, so that's pretty awesome. You can actually use uh meliotis or bond who have both have bleed damage you could use king whenever he shows up for the starlight damage or elizabeth or athena if you have them for starlight chill you got merlin who actually can do chill so having a seven deadly sins character with the dot effect is actually going to be a massive bonus in this game mode then you have hawk here this is pretty easy pretty cheesy little event you get some experience balls from it really really cool and then, of course, the summons. Now, unfortunately, we are going to have a double banner because we're going to get the other version of Elizabeth, Dancing dancing Elizabeth, King, and Dion in the next banner. That's pretty unfortunate that they did that, but I guess it is what it is. And then in here in the shop, we got a little something, something. So they got these deals right here for 13 American dollars. Now, those of you that live in different areas of the world, Maybe this is going to be outrageous. I'm not really sure. But as far as American currency is concerned, this is a decent deal. During the Black Friday, you spend the same amount of money and you would actually get 100 gold hammers. But that was during Black Friday. This is actually a pretty good deal. I might actually buy a few of those packs. Then you have this one here for $80. We got eight of those summons, eight of the card summons. Eight of those token summons is 7,200 rubies. And then eight of those card summons is... 4,800 rubies, so you're looking at about 12,000 rubies right there for $80. Personally, I wouldn't buy that, but if you're desperate to get the 7 Deadly Sins characters, maybe you'd want to. And then you got this deal here for $25. Uh, there's, see, you got 1,800 ruby worth of rubies in the, for the summons, and then you got 1,200 more, so you got 3,000 rubies plus the 8,000 there, so 3,800 rubies for $25 and 100 clear tickets. And then this one here for $10, which is always a pretty decent deal in all honesty. This is about 1,500 rubies for $10. Not a bad deal, but I really think this one here is actually the best amongst them. I mean, I know you're not gonna get any summons, but I do think it is the best amongst them. Hmm. This one here, I mean, you get the attack capsules, all the capsules. You do get experience bottles. Hmm, this is actually tempting. It's a little pricey in all honesty, $25, but you do get these level five, level four, experience bottles, level three. That's, it's, it's, it's okay, it's okay. It's nothing great, but it's okay. And then you have this one here for $10, where you can get the 50 capsules. Then you get the experience bottles from just tier one to tier two. And I, I probably wouldn't buy that one in all honesty. And then you have this deal here, which is actually interesting to me. You buy this thing, it lasts for one full week, and you get the AP, but what it does is it actually increases the amount of souls that you get from Soul Quest. So, you know, currently you can get 16 souls from Soul Quest, including the free ad, but if you buy this thing here for $1, you're actually going to be getting 32 souls every day from Soul Quest. It's actually a really good deal, in all honesty, $1 is a really good deal for that and then you have the characters now i got to play with them a little bit in all honesty uh there's a lot of things about all these characters that i love i think they're all terrific but the things that i want to mention is they did nerf meliotis here as far as i remember this pvp exclusive was actually 60 percent chance to remove the target super armor and Hyper Armor, now it's 40%. It's a real shame that they did that. I don't really see what the big deal would have been in all honesty, but okay. But Bond here, they actually buffed him up. His decreased damage received here was actually 50% before. Now it's 85%. And he didn't have any dot effect in the Korean live stream. And now he's actually got bleed. So I'm really happy that they did that. They buffed him up quite a bit. I'm not even really sure if he had this increased target 
damage received by 20%, but that's freaking insane. It means he's pretty much going to hit like a truck. And Merlin here, they nerfed old Merlin. They took away her hyper armor and actually gave her super armor, which is a cry and shame in my opinion. I really don't see why they didn't leave the hyper armor on her. I think it'd been a lot better if they would have just done that. But they gave her super armor. She does have a decreased damage received by 70%, which is good. And I'll go into more detail about all of these characters. But I was just bummed out that they took away the hyper armor for our girl, bastards. That really sucks. So other than Elizabeth and Tavern Master Meliodas, should you pull for Meliodas, Bon, and Merlin? Well, that's completely up to you. Obviously, if you love the characters, you should. I can tell you that I think they're all super strong characters. Even though they nerfed Merlin, she's still a very powerful PvP character. They all have three PGs. I think they all could be valuable in multiple game modes. Uh, even the defensive characters can still prove to be very good in certain game modes. Uh, you have this version of Meliodas, who's a yellow defense. And he could actually be good against Immortal most. Because he would have the type advantage. You have Elizabeth here who's absolutely free. She's a green defensive, green defensive fighter who actually can be used in RHD past tier 40. That's freaking amazing. I'm so happy that they put her in here and gave her that typing. You got Bond here who is actually going to be really good for Immortal Typhon. Now Immortal Typhon, they, you really want to have chill. But the fact that he's a purple, he's going to have the type advantage. And you could even use them against the Immortal Nyx, who there are no color advantages or disadvantages against. I think Bond's going to hit really hard. I think he's going to be very strong. He's going to have a lot of damn damage. And then Merlin here, she is a blue balance. And the blue actually has advantage against Immortal Vulcan. Now, unfortunately, against Immortal Vulcan, you really want poison and heal. But I still think she could put in work against it. I think she's really going to be more pvp oriented so that's something to keep in mind i mean merlin's major waifu at least for me so i do think they're all worth pulling for i don't know how strong they're going to be because currently right now we can't play them in championship because one championship's very very buggy it's kof all-star fighter week so we can't even use these characters to test them out yet so i will be testing the new characters out and communicating with a lot all the players so all in all, I'm very happy with this collaboration, other than the fact that we didn't get a free 3PG, but we did get two free fests, which is freaking amazing. So let me know how you're all feeling about this collaboration. Let me know what characters you've gotten, what cards you've gotten, and I stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. GMT plus 7 time, Sunday through Thursday. The link will be in the description below, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, y'all. Take care and have a good one.